Paul Revis Academy. The greatest alchemy institute, which lies atop a floating land in the sky. It is known for producing many of the greatest alchemists in the world. However, in recent years, the academy hasn't lived up to its reputation due to a decline in quality teachers. To make matters worse, there has been a steady decrease in the power of mana throughout the world. The academy, which was held up in the sky by the power of mana, fell to the ground. People lost interest in the failing system, so the number of applicants decreased drastically. The academy's investors started to back out, one by one. Thus, the academy was facing a major financial crisis. No, this is bad. Why did this have to happen on my watch? If this persists, the Academy will go bankrupt. Sounds like you're in quite a predicament. Who, who's there? Oh, pardon me. Did I scare you? I heard your troubled mumbling out in the hall. Oh, was I really talking that loud? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marta Shevesti. Shevesti? That's the name of our Academy's biggest sponsor. Oh no, are you here to cancel your sponsorship? Absolutely not, uh, though I am a bit dissatisfied with the current state of the Academy. Uh, so why are you here today? I thought I'd voice my concerns before it's too late to restructure this place. Restructure? Do you really think that's possible? Oh yes, I brought some proposals with me today. And that's how Principal Zeppel came to offer Marta the position of Chairwoman of the Board. Following her lead, the whole school system was renovated. The three-year school curriculum was compacted into one year. They expanded their teachings to other subjects, such as government and law. Up until then, the academy rejected those with no talent in alchemy. Now, Everyone who applied was admitted. And with this change, all of the Academy's expenses were now paid for entirely by the students' tuition. This major change by the school board spurred a negative reaction in some people. On the other hand, the number of applicants increased every year. And after a few years, the Academy was finally turning a profit. We're finally earning money! It took longer than I expected, but we've reached success at last. It's more than just a success. The Academy was on the verge of bankruptcy. And it's all thanks to you, Madam Chairwoman. Anyway, it's about time to take the next step. Oh, you have more changes in mind? Do whatever you think is best. Whatever you have planned, I'm sure it'll work. 
Well then, let's discontinue the alchemy classes. I see. Discontinue the alchemy classes. I never thought of that. Wait! Huh? Why are you so shocked? The alchemy classes require the highest budget. Plus, it's impossible to train high-level alchemists now that manas are so scarce. In fact, there's been a sharp decline in the number of alchemy students. Well, that might be true, but... All Rivas Academy has produced many famous alchemists in the past. That doesn't interest me. It's a matter of whether or not it's good for business. To be blunt, all that matters is if it will increase our profits. It's too late to cancel them this year, since we already have applicants. But we will enforce this plan starting next year. Discontinue alchemy? What should I do? The previous principals would be very disappointed if this really happens. But I can't disobey the chairwoman. Oh, I'm really in trouble now. Just when I thought all my problems were solved. <sighs> oh, I know. There's one person I know I can always rely on. I see. So that's why you're here sucking up to me. Yes, I'm begging you. I have no one else to turn to. So you just want me to shut that woman up, right? All right, deal. R really? Sure, I can't ignore a crisis at my alma mater. However, there are some conditions that need to be met. You're going to be living here from now on. Okay. There's a lady here about your age, too. Make sure you behave. Okay. Don't you want to go? It's not like that. I'm sorry. I hope to raise you to be independent. It's not your fault, Grandpa. It's all because of... Are you done over there? I'm done with the shirt. And now... Stop dawdling and hurry up! He's gonna wake up! Yes, but... Um... Do I have to do his pants, too? Yes, of course! He can't go around wearing pajama pants. I... I understand. This is by order of my lady. Please forgive me. Oh, my heavens! Oh, I see. So this is what he likes. Hey, why are you staring? I wasn't staring. You were the one who was looking at him with such a filthy gaze. Hmm? Oh, no. Shh. Quiet. Oh. Looks like we're safe. Let's just tighten the belt and we're finished. Huh? So, what are you two doing in my room? Huh? What's with this uniform? That's a uniform for Al Rivas Academy. Al Rivas Academy? Oh, that school you were talking about going to. Yes, and you will be attending school there with me too. I'm glad your uniform fits. What? Wait a sec. 
Isn't Al Riva's Academy a school for alchemy? Why am I? Don't worry. You'll be enrolling in their combat department. It's a brand new department that they're starting this year. <laughs> what perfect timing! Yeah, but I I'm not ready for this. Stop complaining. It's already been arranged. We leave tomorrow morning. And we won't be back for a year, so make sure you pack everything you'll need. Now, excuse us. And I thought I'd be free of the lady for a whole year. Man, this sucks. It is my honor to welcome all of you new students this year. There are fewer people training to be alchemists because of the decline of mana. But you'll still become a good alchemist if you study hard at this academy. In fact, I don't even have a mana, but I got to be the principal here. Anyway, I'll go ahead and introduce our new vice principal. And... You gotta be kidding me. I'm not going to approve of you becoming the VP! Stop whining, you loser! It doesn't matter if you approve or not! I've spent too many years as a normal teacher for you to just come in and take the VP job! Normal teacher? You may be a teacher, but there's nothing normal about you.
Mr. Tony, Mr. Flay, we're in the middle of orientation. The students are watching you. He started it! I was just putting him in his place. Principal, I'm still not convinced. Why was he... I've explained that to you many times already. Uh, go ahead and give your speech now. I'll try to calm Mr. Tony down. If you say so. Wait! You freaking wait! Sorry to keep you waiting, noobs. I'm Flay, the Vice Principal. I will also be teaching the fighting classes. No! They're called the combat classes! Oh, is that what it was? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll be working you as hard as possible for the next year, so be prepared. Combat classes? That's what I'm taking! Flay! Oh, darn. He got away. How annoying. I have no choice. He's coming right for me. Am I really going to be okay here? Miss Lily. Where do you think you're going? You didn't even come get me. Huh? I'm going to my classroom. Besides, you never told me to come get you. You should know what you're supposed to do. I'm sorry. around here. She was throwing a fit and taking it out on me, all because you didn't come. Don't say that. Ah! Ow! Ouch! I, I'm sorry. Um, so do you need something? Oh, oh, that's right. Go ahead and go to your classroom. I have to see the chairwoman first. Is that all? Oh, this is a very important meeting. I'm representing my father, informing her of the Valendor family's intentions and... No, I mean, we're not even in the same class. What? Uh, oh, oh yeah, right. Looks like you completely forgot about that. Shut, shut up! Don't tell me what I've done! I didn't want you waiting around, looking for me, so... That's why I came to find you. You need to speak up, or he won't hear you, milady. Stop eavesdropping! I was only talking to myself! That's good, because I don't think Mr. Rays would voluntarily go looking for you. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> my brain! My brain is shaking inside my skull! Uh, may I go now? Oh, oh, sure, go ahead. She is so weird, I'll never understand her. Oops, I better hurry. Ah! Huh? What the hell is this rock doing here? Ah! My stone! Oh good, it's safe. That's 
yours? Huh? Yeah, isn't it pretty? And it's not just pretty. Eventually. Don't you have something else to say? I tripped because of that thing. Something else? Oh, you're right! I can't believe you stepped on my stone! You almost broke it! Why are you yelling at me? You're supposed to apologize! Why should I apologize? You made yourself trip! You rolled that rock in my way! You're acting like children. Let it go? Why are you caught up in ancient history? This is not ancient history! Hey, what are you guys fighting about? Whoa, that's the teacher from orientation! You guys look pretty excited already. What are your names? Razalux. Ulrika and Razalux. Nah, I mean, I'll just call you Raze. I'll remember your names. Now hurry off to your classrooms. Yes, sir. Man, I'm off to a bad start. What was up with that chick? What? Huh? What's wrong? You look like you're in a bad mood. Huh? You shouldn't look so mad. This is your first day of school. I'm so excited I haven't slept for two days. Who are you? Me? I'm Ed. It's actually Edward, but you can just call me Ed. So, what's your name? Why are you talking to me? Oh, don't be so shy. We sit next to each other. If I knew I'd be sitting next to you, I would have picked another seat. So, do you remember my name? It's Et. Say it. Et. You're so annoying. Huh? Wait. Hmm. Hey, haven't we met before? Where do I know you from? I doubt it. I wouldn't forget someone like you. I'm pretty sure. Somewhere. <laughs> this year's students are pretty energetic. Whoa, Mr. Flay! How did you do that just now? You'll be able to do this too if you train under me for the next year. Really? Man, I'm so excited! I'm not really here to learn that. I already introduced myself in orientation, so I'll get straight to the point. You all are going to be taking lessons to become the best fighters, but you will be learning alchemy as well. What? Alchemy? But why? This position came to me at the last minute, so I couldn't prepare for it. Therefore, until I get the combat class ready, you will engage in learning alchemy. Hell no! We came to this school to get stronger. That's right. Why should we waste our time with alchemy? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I quit! I quit this place! Yeah. I'd rather learn to fight on the streets. Oh ho! Your rebellion is impressive, but... Ah! 
You shouldn't leave your seat during my lecture. He's strong. What the hell is he? Well, let's begin the inaugural class. You better appreciate this. Class with assignments, huh? That sounds like too much work. Hey, do you want to go together? It's better than going alone, right? Well, it's set. Let's go before everyone else gets there. I never agreed to that. I'm going by myself. Raze, are you here? This is so stupid. If the combat and alchemy classes are the same, then we didn't have to take different classes in the first place. If we were in the same class, we could pass notes and share our textbooks. What are you mumbling about? Um, nothing. Anyway, we should... Huh? Who's that girl? I don't really have an answer for you. As soon as I take my eyes off of you, you're already flirting with another girl. Look, it's not what you think. I don't need to hear it. You need to once again consider your position here. Miss Lily, calm down and... Ow! Um... You two should keep it down a little. Ooh. Hmm? What? what is it? Is there something on my face? Aren't you Wim? Wow, it's been so long! Huh? Um... And you are... Did you forget? It's me, Et! Huh? Oh, Miss Et! Oh my, how you've grown! Yep, didn't I grow so much? You haven't changed a bit, though. I don't grow like humans. Instead, I stay young and beautiful forever. <laughs> <laughs> You've always said things like that to piss people off. <laughs> Wim is here, so that means you must be little Lily. And the guy running away is... Yes, he's Mr. Ray's. Milady, it's Miss Ed. I'm in the middle of something. So, Raze, now do you see what I'm saying? No, it's Miss Ed, your childhood friend. You were mistaken. Huh? Ed? <laughs> Long time no see. No way! How long has it been? About ten years. I didn't think I'd see you here. That's what I was just thinking! You should have told me earlier! You two... know each other? Don't you remember? She and her brother used to come hang out with us. I told you I've seen you somewhere before. I don't remember. Well, this is good. Egg, come with us too. Huh? Where are we going? To do our assignment? No, it's something else. You'll see once we get there. What is it? I want to know. What are you doing, just lying there? Um, I'm still recovering. Anyway, you got so big, I used 
to be taller than you. I guess you haven't really grown that much. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can you stand up? Lend me your shoulder. 